Hey everyone, how many hours each week do you take to just think or daydream? I don't mean being mindful or meditating or listening to music. I mean just sitting there and letting your brain do the driving. I ask because I read a great article in the New York Times this past week about a former U.S. Secretary of State who would do just that for one hour each week so that he could process new information that he had taken in. So what else is so great about thinking and daydreaming? In addition to giving us a break from stress, it's prime time for problem solving and creativity and insight. I thought it would be a great idea if we all took some time to think and daydream this week. We have 168 hours during the next seven days and it would be really sad if we couldn't take just one of them to try thinking and daydreaming and see if we get the same benefit. With your remaining 167 hours, I hope you'll take some time to check out a new series that we'll be launching on the app called Hang 10. I'll be interviewing Dr. Ben Michaelis, and he will tell us in one minute how to diagnose things like narcissistic personality disorder and why that's an important thing to know how to do. If you missed it last week, make sure to watch Poolside, which is one of the most tranquility-inducing videos we've ever seen. Have a great week, everyone, and remember, we're always here when you need to tune up and out.